and hello, 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 hello out there. To all of you who are listening within the sound of my voice, I wanted to come to you very briefly because I want to go on record with uh, my commentary and um, my editorial, if you will, on this whole thing with um, Bill Cosby and the Kavanaugh hearings and all of this. Uh, let me just state for the record, honey, that I'm really, 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 really tired of of a lot of the bullshit that I'm hearing. Um, and what I and what I mean by that is, a lot of people are not necessarily thinking about about things. You know, everybody want to get emotional. Everybody want to get onto this thing of oh, you know, women need to this and women need to that, and you know, their stories must be believed and. It's about time that folks stood up and all of that. And I get it. And yes, we do need to have uh, an opportunity and, and, and a space where women can come out or anybody who have been sexually abused, sexually assaulted, um, or have been mistreated in any kind of way uh, by those who are in power. We do need to have a space where they uh, can be heard, can be believed, and that uh, those who are the perpetrators are able to um, be made accountable for their actions. But one of the things that, that bothers me with all of this is that the disparages that we're having in it because there are a number of people who were so adamant about Bill Cosby that, oh, he need to pay, he need not be you know, um, treated like anybody else. He needs to go ahead on and pay for his crime. He needs to be held accountable. He's not a celebrity and this, that, and the other. Uh, don't, don't let his money and his things speak for him and this, that, and the other. However, with that same veracity that they're speaking this into existence on him, nobody has taken to, uh, into account that the powers that be were out to get him. And what I mean by that is there was a lot of people out there trying to neutralize him. And those are the people who end up winning in this particular situation. Uh, I have never been one who, who said that he raped those folks. I don't believe he raped them. I believe that he abused his power. I believe he intimidated. I believe he coerced. I believe that, um, uh, you know, he may have influenced and carried on and all of that, but I never believed that he raped those people. And here's why. I have heard the most asinine shit about where he drugged them, he drugged them. No, he did not drug them. He offered it to them and they took it. They took it. It's not like he slipped them a Mickey in their drinks. It's not like he sat up there and forced them to take those drugs. He offered it and they took it. Okay? He um, um, sat down and he did not forcibly um, make his way onto those folks or whatever. Like I said, had he coerced them into it? Had he intimidated them? Yes, I would, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Y'all heard me say that from the beginning of all of this. However, to say rape, to say uh, uh, that he has physically forced his way onto the women, I don't believe that. I do not believe that at all. I believe that a lot of women who were in that situation who, who say it was raped or whatever, I believe that they did not want the advances and that they were stuck and, and he ended up abusing his power, okay? And that's where I believe all this is coming from. I don't believe that he physically and uh, forcibly made those women do anything with him sexually. I do not believe that especially after they were telling their stories. And, and, and I do not stand behind it because there was a number of those women who sat down there and who returned and they kept going back. A couple of them got paid and went back, okay? Janice Dickens said, there's nothing, there's nothing that bitch can say that would make me ever believe that Bill Cosby ever did anything to her. Because in her own books and care, you know, she talked about how she was a drug head and this, that, and that, she was strung out, she was this, she was that. I don't believe a word of her test a lie at all. Okay. Uh, as far as as far as um, his sentencing, okay, I have heard and and been reading comments and stuff that you know three to ten years is not enough time and this that and the other. But here's where I'm I'm really upset about. 
I'm upset with this because the only case who's who's um, uh, uh, the only the, the only case that did not run out of the statute of limitations was the one woman who got paid. She had already went to trial once. They had come, got into a settlement or whatever. That bitch got paid. And for those of you who don't believe that they went out after him by getting her to sit down there and file that uh, and to file that criminal case against him, I'm sorry. This here was with this here was something, and they ran out to get him. They were wanted to make sure that everything about his credibility was shot. They wanted to make sure that everything about his his um his person was 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 destroyed. They went out to destroy this man, and they won. I feel that I, that bitch should get back all that coin. I feel like everybody who wanted to turn their back on Cosby, every school that he gave money to, should give him his money back. If y'all feel so strongly about him and this, that, and the other, give him his money back. Give him all of his endorsements, all of that that he has done to help build your businesses. Give it all back, okay? Give it all back. Erase him from the world. Erase him from your consciousness. Give it all back, okay? If he's that much of... If he has been so, if this is his character that you say uh, he's this, he's that, give it back. Why, why, why put up with it? Why is it that he was so good at one point and now that his character has come into question? That now nobody wants to be done with it, but, but he was good enough when he gave y'all the $20 million. He was good enough when he lent his name to here. He was good enough when he encouraged that. See, th there's a number of things here that, that says to me that um, we have not been looking at this in the right way. Now, I'm not saying that he should not be punished. I'm not saying he should not be held accountable for anything or whatever, because I really believe that if you, if you don't do the crime, if you can't do the time, ain't that what it is? Yeah, that was some things that he, he showed us when he did the Cosby, the Cosby Kids, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. Okay, during the cartoon, that was some things that, those are some of the lessons that we learned in that particular thing. You understand? So, here's the thing. You know, I've never believed that he was, you know, that he was some, some man that we put on a pedestal or whatever because that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, as far as the title of being America's dad, well, you know what? That's something that they put on him and carried on because of what they of what they gave him and this that, and the other. But everybody wants to no, I'm I'm good, thank you, baby. Everybody wants to sit down there and they want to put this man. They were ready to hang him out to dry. They were ready to put him out in jail. They were ready to do this and they were ready to do that about him. And now that you got it. Now what? It was a sad, sad day in Hollywood when this man sat up there and they put him in handcuffs and walked him down with chains and carried on. Okay? Y'all waited till he's on death's door. The man is 81 years old. What the hell he gonna do in jail? Okay? What is he gonna do? Huh? Now, I'm gonna jump on this bandwagon too because if he can go to jail for shit that happened 30, 40 years ago, and, you know, th those folks weren't able to testify or whatever, but they got those folks and they, were, and, and, and they were able to get witnesses who came up to testify against him. There was still no hard evidence with Lil Mustaine. OK, there was still no hard evidence about that. But if they can do that, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say, how come they don't go persecute the woman who sat up there and said she lied about Emmett Till and got Emmett Till killed? How come nobody's rallying to make sure she go to jail? for such a heinous crime and how they did Emmett Till. Nobody has rallied around that. Nobody has sat up there and said, oh, we need to go and prosecute her for a lie. Nobody got around that, okay? Nobody is rallying around that, okay? With the same intensity that they were sitting up there saying that Bill Cosby need to go down. Nobody, this whole Kavanaugh thing with, 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 the, uh, with those hearings and carrying on. This man here, they're prosecuting him as if he's on trial. And this ain't even a trial yet. We're just trying to make sure he's worthy enough to be uh, the Supreme Court judge. Okay? But he's sitting up here. Uh, you didn't want to believe the woman and say, you know, this, that, and the other. Now, I'm going to tell you, the part, the part of her testimony that sold everything for me was how she got dates. 
She sat up there and said, on this date here, I've been talking about this for a long period of time. It's documented with her psychiatrist. It's documented with the therapist. She put the name in, in, in all that with the therapist. So if they do the FBI investigation on that, this is going to come out. So it's not like she made this up and it's not like she's coming out of the woodwork all of a sudden. You know how, we, how we've seen that people will come out of the woodwork and carry on when, when all this shit happening and then they're trying to make up dates. No, her shit is documented. When she sat up there and said that she got two front doors, she argued with her husband about putting two front doors on the house because of her anxiety and carrying on this and that. She got to make sure she got a way out. That spoke volumes. That speaks volumes. Now, if you want to sit down there and question his credibility, See, we have reasonable doubt here. If he, and he wanted to get adamant and carried on and this, that, and the other, but he didn't do it in Blase Jackie. The way how this is going out and the way how his temperament is, why should we put anyone up there on the Supreme Court who cannot sit down there and comply with any and everything else? Now, all of a sudden, because his family was in jeopardy, or oh, they done did this and they done did that, now you want to say, oh, I would do anything y'all tell me to do. No. Take the motherfucking lead. You applying for the highest position of judicial courtship. Okay? You a judge already. You know what the eyes of the law is, and you trying to get a higher position. Bitch, how come you not sitting up here leading the way? You should have called for the goddamn investigation if you are so true. If you are true to your word and this did not happen, you should have been one to lead that charge. Like, you know what? Give me a polygraph. Get the FBI out there because you have that power to do that, to cross this, cross this shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, that's not what happened. So because of that, we have all this hoopla, again, over sexual innuendo and carrying on that men in power or those who are in power are not being held accountable for. Now, here's something I want you to consider. Because it's going to come a, a moment where women in power who have been sexually assaulting men are going to have their day in the light, too. And when that happens, I want to see how much of the Me Too movement is going to get behind that. As a matter of fact, isn't there already a story out that one of the women who was one of the most vocal bitches in the Me Too movement uh, or one of the, the vocal uh, supporters of it, she got charged with a sexual harassment case, and 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 now everybody say, oh, don't let her, don't let her indiscretion, you know, overshadow the movement. Don't we have one of those already? So now, why, why now all of a sudden that a woman is the perpetrator, that we want to sit down there and go, Shh, sh no, don't, 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 you know, don't, don't make that, don't put that a light on the movement. See, we're not going to have all these double standards, and this is what I'm getting tired of. I think that's the point of all this, is that the double standards that are going out there are starting to become very, very, very noticeable and evident. If they're going to get on Cosby, then that means everybody about, about uh, Harvey Weinstein and all these other different people need to sit down here. They need to go after them with the same veracity that they went after Cosby. And I'm going to jump on this bandwagon, too, because somebody else brought this up. And when they brought it up, I've, I've been thinking about it, but I did not give it any light. But I can't think of the man's name, but the guy from Seventh Heaven, when he was accused and it was proven that he was sexually molesting children, and yet they never pulled Seventh Heaven off the air. They never sat down there and, and he, you hardly ever hear about him. They didn't drag him through the mud. They didn't do anything. He was fucking with kids. Hmm? So we're going to stop all this double standard shit. You, now, for those of you who, who went after Cosby because he got money, he was trying to buy the NBC studios. He, do, he went out there twice. The second time, and I'm trying to find it because I know I heard it from TMZ or something. He was going to go buy NBC again. He was putting up new uh, programming and stuff. He was developing new shows and all of that. And right when all that was going up was when all this shit came about, about him raping these women and this, that, and other, blah, 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 blah. That comedian, I tell you, I don't believe in coincidences, honey, because it's too coincidental to be a coincidence that all of a sudden this boy done put this in his act, Hannibal Barres, about Cosby being the rapist and this, that, and other. I'm telling you, something about that don't seem right to me. I really believe that somebody got to him either one of his writers or something then it got to them and this is how all this came about and started to kick in and get the public to going after it. I'm telling y'all, something ain't right. But they've been after Cosby 
have been wanting to neutralize this man for a long time and now they won. So now the question is, now that he's been neutralized, where do we go from here? How do we as as a people begin to pick up the pieces from here? How do we as a people begin to begin to stop letting these kinds of things be the narrative and be able to empower ourselves so that we could come up from up out of the shadow? What do we as men need to do to step up to the plate so that these kind of stories will stop being a, oh, a boys just being boys kind of thing? What is it that we need to do to keep our dicks in our pants and carry it on or learn how to not touch anybody and this, that, and that inappropriately or stop making deals in the bedroom and stop thinking that sex is supposed to be the way to go? Because if you really want to know, that is the American way. OK, everything about this has been saying what uh, the American way of doing stuff, because we have allowed a society, a masculine bred society to sit up there and to dictate to women all the time. Women have been going through this forever and a day. So it's not like this is something new. It's just that what do we need to do about understanding what the power dynamic is so that people who are in power can stop abusing that particular power? What do we do about that? That's the name of this particular game. I am really, 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 really getting tired of all of that. I'm, uh, I don't think anybody won. You know, those, those women who have... Um, who have been assaulted, who have been, whose lives have been changed about this, and who, who have really been through the meal with all of this, my heart goes out to you. For those of you who are using this as a way up because this was, this was the cash accounts going wrong, and now you're just trying to get back at the man or whatever, to hell with all of that bullshit. Because you knew what the game was going in. And you, and you played a game that you didn't know what you was doing. And that's what I'm going to say about that. Y'all could disagree with me all you want to, but this was a cassette couch gone wrong. And all of these women who sit up here was doing all this. Uh, it's interesting that all of them were in the entertainment business. There's not one woman who was not in the entertainment industry some kind of way, not even Lil Missy. Okay, to where they said that you can say that this was a random act or, you know, he was after, after these women. You know what I'm saying? So I'm having a problem with all of that. So on that note, let me get in. I got to go punch in and carry on. We got to, you know, we have to do that factor. Oh, I walk first. I can leave this up here. Um, so y'all make sure y'all follow me. Go on everything. Dishing Tea with Big Meats. Go to my website, dishingtea.com. Follow me on Facebook and um, YouTube and carrying on. I'm, I'm Big Meach on Facebook. I am uh, Big Meach One right here on YouTube or whatever. I am Big Meach Seventy One on Nine on Instagram. Follow me there and then let's get this talking, uh, popping and carrying on. So dish this tea or dunk those crumpets, baby. On that note, I'll talk with you again soon. Peace. <laughs>